Okay, hi. I'm uh, going to show you guys the town, show you everything in my neighborhood. We're going to hopefully go to the farmer's market. I don't know how this is going to turn out because of the, it's the first time I'm using this, this Chinese phone I bought. So I don't know how the picture is going to come out or, or anything, but it's got like 13 megapixels, so it should be okay. Anyway, let me change the view here. Can I do that? And see if we could if we could look at the front of my house and, and the neighborhood for a sec. This is a very boring neighborhood. There isn't really much to show. Okay, here we go again. This is my neighborhood. If you notice a a real current motif in, in Greek neighborhoods, it's that everything's got balconies. This is my next door neighbor's house right here. Balconies. Everywhere we look. There's balconies. This is such a boring neighborhood. Okay, I'm heading this way. And I'm going to walk down this alley, take a turn, and then we'll get in front of the metro. Metro is something I'd like to explore one day so you guys can see our transportation system in Athens. Look at this building over here. This is an interesting building. It's so big. And it's so beautiful. Okay. Let's let's go up this alley. This is, like I said, a very boring neighborhood. There isn't much to get into. See how small the sidewalks are? I really hate this. Athens is a concrete city. And if you notice, there isn't many trees around. We have like this type of orange tree that nobody eats the oranges that grows everywhere in the city. But we don't have any huge willows or maples or cypresses everywhere on every block. Except maybe that block. That's got some nice trees. Okay. There's another building on the corner. Again, if you see the recurring motif of balconies everywhere. It's really kind of funny. The whole city's full of balconies, but nobody really hangs out in their balconies. I guess, I guess at nighttime sometimes you see people they're sitting. It's really comfortable, but you never see people. Like look at these balconies. Nobody's really out ever, ever. This is a wine shop over here. This guy's would have been very, very popular if he was in Austria. He would have made a lot of money. We have a parking garage over here. This guy's going to close this. He's not making any money. We have an expensive beauty salon on the corner. My mom still talks about the day it cost her 50 euros just to, hair, just to get a trim in her hair, her hair done. Now, this is a, this M, or whatever that symbol is right there that we see, is the entrance to the metro, or metro, and it's an underground subway, and it's really efficient, really clean, really good. One of the better things in Athens. All right, we're heading to Farmer's Market. These are kiosks. Let me stop here for a second and show you guys the kiosks. They're like newspaper stands in the States. They have candy, they have pop. <coughs> you get your weekly your weekly magazines. My reservation about them is that they're expensive. And uh, 
sort of go there and, and to get some gum or whatever, it's still going to cost you more in a buck. There's no, there's nothing really cheap there. All right, right here, this 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 store over here that says. Oh, let's see. We have stuff on the floor that the Pakistanis are selling. I really like this phone. I hope this comes out good. Huh. This is now something that I want to focus on. My upstairs neighbor owns this. He's got these tents up here. Each one of these is about six grand a piece, and that's not without the side trimming and everything. There we go. There's two of them here. You had to build it up from the sidewalk to be able to put a platform on this. This is like he spent a lot, a lot of money for this place. This is like a cafe bar. And upstairs, and here's another cafe bar right here. We have, I don't know how the light's going to come out on this. Okay. And the third one. There's three here, and they all do very good business most of the time. Right now, they're kind of not full, but mostly they're all doing lots of business, these little cafe bars. They cost a fortune to get into. The rent's also a fortune. Like my friend and neighbor, the first one I showed you guys, it cost them over $200,000, 200,000 euros, excuse me, that's more than $200,000, just to go into somebody else's property and renovate it and fix it. And then he's still paying, oops, he's still paying about 3000 bucks a month in rent. That's a lot of Coca-Cola you have to sell to be able to justify that. Here we go. We have a, a vendor here for a, a street that is selling jewelry. And we have more stuff. He's all junk. Every time I come here, week in, week out, it breaks my heart. Because in, in the States, we had Maxwell Street, and it was like six square blocks of people selling everything, from fruit to sandwiches to really, really nice antique finds, watches, cameras, you name it, it was there. This is nothing like that. There we go, we got some gypsies selling carpets. And then this is one of my favorite stands here. This guy sells flashlights and tools. Everything here outside of the tools and the light bulbs are a euro, like a buck twenty. There he is. I told him I was going to buy something from him. Hi, Joanne. How are you? This is my new phone, and I'm taking a film of the market. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm horrible, horrible. Well, it isn't. I didn't get a. Wait a minute. Let me turn this off for a sec, and we'll get back to it. Okay. We're back to the farmer's market. Every once a week, on, on a different day in each neighborhood, these vendors come and they set up these stands on the raisins. <laughs> and they try to sell their wares. It's a little bit cheaper than going to the stores. They have less of an overhead than somebody who actually has a storefront. They have nice blankets here, five bucks a piece and seven bucks a piece, depending on the size. Unfortunately, to me, after a certain amount of clutter that people accumulate in their houses, it all becomes junk. Oh, these look warm, flannels. 
Πώ είναι αυτέ, Δεν είναι αυτό που έχει φόδρα, αυτό έχει και φόδρα, έχει και ούρα και φόδρα, είναι το τρίτο κομμάτι. Οκ, ευχαριστώ. That was 10 euros, about 12 bucks for that. Problem is, I, got, I have boxes of clothes, so no matter how much I like something, I try to refrain because look at all these clothes, six bucks a piece. We got them in piles. They're not used. They're just cheap Chinese versions. So across the street we have a phone place. More clothes. Anyway, I was saying once a week, the farmer's market goes into different neighborhoods. In this neighborhood, it's Saturday. There we go. We have some shoes here. Really colorful. Really cheap. Really Chinese. It's about the same grade as Payless. Rugs. Hey, kind of video. Some people are really really are out of their minds like that lady was asking me what I was doing. You could tell she's kind of like a nasty person instead of a nice person. And here's the tram. He's in the metro. It's a tram. And there it goes. <coughs> we have flowers here. This vendor. And this is the beginning of farmer's market. First thing to notice, it goes pretty much for like a mile in a straight line across major streets. One thing to notice from the farmer's market is just the amount of people and the amount of people lugging around carts irresponsibly, especially old people. This is more of a pain than anything else to negotiate through here. Again, we have a kiosk here. This has got fish, frozen fish. We have eggs. And you can see the prices on the eggs. They're like 10 euro cents, 13, 17, 20 euro cents. We have apples, thunders. We have fruits. This is one of the bigger and least expensive farmer markets from what I'm told in this neighborhood when it comes on Saturday. What's really funny, potatoes, fruits, cabbage, broccoli, little potatoes, 40 euro cents a, a kilo. Here everything is in the thousand grams. They don't have pounds. Uh, we got broccoli, we got spinach, peppers, nice colors, bad prices. They, the prices change weekly. So peppers that are 250 this week, oops, I'm gonna these are tomatoes. I'm coming back to get some after I shoot this. Uh, we got bananas, they're about 40, about 50, that's too much. We have little, little itsy bitsy tomatoes. These tomatoes look really nice. They're a buck off. Thousand grams. Cucumbers, more eggs. You eat. Because it's a little chilly out, there isn't that many people here. This is, this seems to. It seems to be not as crowded by far as usual. 
and I'm keeping a pretty steady pace here, whereas on most weekends, it's really frustrating negotiating through. Most people are not, res most old people are not responsible for how fast they walk. They're, they don't hold themselves responsible for how fast they walk and what they do with their carts. So you could imagine if you got five, six, seven old people in front of you with carts, you're not getting very far. Alright. I hope this video comes out. Ε, παίρνω φωτογραφία, παίρνω βίντεο. Θέλετε να πείτε τίποτα. Ναι, ναι, σε ποιον σε ποιον πρέπει να ρωτήσω άδεια. Σε σένα. Could I get permission from the film? He's some people I've noticed here in Greece are really nasty. Here's a cop, I think. Security, security. Those are mushrooms, but they're very expensive here. This is like the only guy that sells them. Right, I'm going to come back and get some of that for mom. Some kind of good food grass. A lot of different herbs, walnuts, almonds. What's really funny about the farmer's market is it's 3 to 4 o'clock in the evening, everybody packs up and leaves. So by 6 o'clock, there's these big trucks here that are cleaning the streets from all the refuse that the market leaves behind. And this is a weekly event, and it's pretty efficiently done with the trucks coming afterwards and, and washing the sidewalks. There's another section of this market that, that sells fish, and boy, does it stink. Bananas are 120 here. The last place we looked, they were 150. So there is a, a price difference, broccoli a euro. That's not a bad price. I don't like broccoli that much. See here, we got better bananas, better quality bananas about this. Tomatoes. And there's old people. Look at some of the faces here. These are the noises you hear in the background. People trying to sell their wares. There's a nice little stand for the flowers. All right, and across the street, I don't know if, if it shows in this video, is another block or two or three of this type of exact same type of vendors, exact, exact same type of stuff. All right, I'm going to head back. I'm going to turn this off. And then next time, I hope this comes out. And the next time I'll turn this on is after I, I did my shopping. Then I'll head back home and we'll look at some more of the buildings. Okay. okay, we're back at the farmer's market. I was on my way home. And I figured we'd have one last run. So we could look at all the food that expensive two year olds put there. We could listen to all the the vendor's voices.
carrots are 50 euro cents a, a thousand grams. Я наговорил, что видео, что интернет. Я. Я дой мне тора, мне кажется, что с Америки. Не. Я приехал в Филис на Америки. Ой. Да, на сосудине мера, вот лишь эти бори. Да, но это вы сказали, да. Ну, и Ja bym był na wiekcie do Simwenie. Co ty chcesz? No pewnie, nie wiem. A mam tego. A ty nie wiem, że jesteś z Ameryki. Z Chicago. A, brawo, ja bym chciał, że to było pojęcie. Kryo. Kryo, ale nie wiem. Kryo. 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 Και δεν είναι μόνο αυτό στην Αμερική, κοίτα. Πρέπει. Να σε πάρει το θέμα. Χαμογέλα, σου καμά. Θέλω να χαμόγελα. Κοίτα στην Αμερική, να ξέρει, αν δεν χαλάσει 2.000 ή 3.000 δολάρια το μήνα, δεν μπορεί να ζήσει. Να, δεν είναι τέτοιο. Υπάρχουν πολλοί εκατομμύρια άτομα σε ανυπόφορη κοινά. Ανυπόφορη κοινά, να μην το πιστέψει. Το ότι έχει κακούσει. Ναι, αν πας στην Αμερική και είσαι γιατρός, είσαι δικηγόρος... Όχι, δεν είναι το παραδέχομαι και το βλέπω. Δηλαδή, αν είναι δικηγόρος και είμαι... Εντάξει. Αυτό είναι. Αν δεν έχεις ανώτερο πληθείο ή αν δεν έχεις οικογένεια που για πολλά χρόνια... Στον πάγκο, στον πάγκο. Κι. Ποιος. Έλα. Τα έχουμε αγαθά, δεν διάγω, τραβάτε. Αν δεν έχεις χρήματα ή οικογένεια... Τι θα σε πω, είσαι με τους μαύρους, τους φορτορίκους, τα πρώτη που είναι καλή. Και εδώ τι πια κάνεις. Όχι, δεν είναι τίποτα τώρα. Τι πια, πού είσαι. Έχει δούλεψα πολλά χρόνια στην Αμερική. Είναι ένα θέμα. Α, ωραία. Τι πόσο χρόνια έχεις εδώ. Κοίτα, όταν ήρθα το 2004, πήγα στην Ουγγαρία. Πήγα στην Ουγγαρία και άνοιξα ξενών. Είναι ένα χίλια έξι εφτά χρόνια. Και τώρα είμαι εδώ δύο χρόνια, τρία χρόνια. Πόσο χρόνια και τώρα είσαι καλά, εντάξει να δείτε. Χάλια. Πόσο χρόνια και τώρα είσαι καλά, εντάξει να δείτε. Χάλια. Όπου και να πας, είναι χάλια. Χαίρεστη. Okay, we're finishing you up. I just had the cutest young girl stop me and ask me about 30 minutes worth of questions. She's absolutely adorable and curious, super curious, where I'm from, what I'm doing. Very soft. I get my eggs from here once a week or once every two weeks. All right, Ted. That's about all she wrote. I'm not going to go toward the fish section of the farmer's market. Fish really stinks. And it's getting around that time to where everybody's going to be going, dismantling everything and going home. All right. Here's our little park again. It's a tram coming. Okay, that's that's it for our Athens tour right now. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I've done my shopping, and I'm really hesitant to go into this mess over here of a of a block. Very, very crowded. We'll just do a 
preliminary look right here to see what they're offering. We have apples, we have garlic, we have potatoes, carrots. And we have a building across the street. Again, you see the balconies everywhere. I don't have a balcony. Because I'm on the first floor. If I did, I doubt I'd hang around on outside also like everybody else. And this is a park. This is a interesting park to me. Let me kind of show you what I see. I see a square area that has a stone bench over there where many people could sit that has very little invested in it and yet it's full at night times for moms and dads who bring their kids here to play. Right now it's, it's really chilly and nobody seems to be out and about other than to go to, to the market. But this little place is really full every night. I'm going to head back home now. I'm going to drop off my, my shopping for the day. And then in a little while, I'm going to take another walk to one of the supermarkets. Let's see if there's anything I should point out. Buildings again. Feeling of Athens. If you see in the background, I don't know if this if this will pick it up, but those are like those orange trees I was talking about, running down the whole block. They're kind of pretty, but the the sidewalks are small. And it's nothing like the trees I'm used to in the States. But then again, this is a city. The whole country is full of... full of forests and, and jungles. Okay, I'm going to take another route home. Here's the, the tram again, going by. It takes forever to get to your destination when you get on one of those things. They're not very efficient like the Metro. It speeds the, It speeds along everywhere it has to go. Across the street we have a grocery store that went out of business. They sold the chain and moved from this corner. I've met the owner of the property. He wants 6,000 euros a month to rent it. I think it's a crock. The place isn't worth half that. But it is huge. Nevertheless. Again, small sidewalks. The tram stop next to me. This is a little machine shop. Again, the buildings. One re serious reservation I have about most of these flats in this city. Is they were built at a time where the Greeks were not were not putting drywall up and insulation. So when it's like 50 degrees here, it's pretty freezing on the inside. This is a we buy gold place. These places 
after the economy fell, we just sprouted everywhere. Okay, we're heading to a, another side street, corner shop. Oops, no. Here's a photo place. I should go in and ask about your photos. Or about the photos I want to copy. I don't know. I'll stop by when I'm not shooting. Okay. When the economy fell, all these shops went empty. This guy here sells used clothes. Of course, only the foreigners go in here. Most Greeks are too proud to do something like that. Oh, he's just a barber shop. I hate this guy. Lamp store, light bulb store, the LEDs. They build this really huge, beautiful building on this corner. I mean, really huge, really beautiful. And the big, the big storefront's never been rented, or the one next door to it. Never, ever, from the minute they build it. I guess they wanted too much money. Right. Yeah. It's the way to the charm. We're going the other way. We're going to take an alley up. So I can show you guys a typical alley in Athens. I should correct myself while I have a chance. All right, this place in the corner right here is a is a nail polish pedicure place, and it's actually full of customers. I mean, nail nails sell pedicures and everything else that comes along with that type of the type of business. Now, I call this an alley. The truth is that this is not an alley. This is a street. And you see these, this graffiti, but it isn't gang graffiti. It's somebody calling the cops fascist. It's probably been there for 10 years. Nobody really cares. <coughs> this is a street, even though I call it an alley. We don't have many alleys in, in Athens. Just all these concrete buildings with all these empty balconies. Okay, enough for now. I'm heading home. I'll shoot again. I'll shoot again. When I leave the house to, to go to the grocery store. Okay. We're back. This is a really old building here. This is the back of the farmer's market. I'm heading to another, to a supermarket now. What I did was I picked up my the few groceries I needed from the farmer's market. Took them home, dropped them off, and now I'm slowly heading to the, to the supermarket. These are old buildings. And what's really kind of funny in my neighborhood, even though we have low-income buildings where they're really old and they're not upkept, you still don't see any anybody hanging out and game banging or selling drugs or doing anything that that would seem to be threatening to any other members of this community. Well, we do have graffiti. It's more 
teenagers' names and anything else. If there are gangs in Greece, or they're they're more organized, like gypsies, or they're they're not there fighting for turf. They're fighting to figure out how to make a couple bucks a day or more. All right. I figured the best way to. I hope this comes out good. I think the best way for me to be able to show somebody Athens is to actually take you along on some of my walks, no matter how slow they are, so you can see what I see. First person view. This is a school. It looks like a reformatory, but it's not. It's a school. And when I get up this bridge, we'll be able to take a better look at it. There we go, up the stairs. This is my weekly exercise. All right, this is again the school. It's got a courtyard. Looks kind of two-dimensional to me. All right, we're going up the bridge. Stop here for a second. There's a church across the street. Here's a major thoroughfare in and out of Athens. You can see one side kind of clogged, people coming into the city. And there's a view across the street, still clogged on the, on the right right now. More people coming in and out that's in front of this school. We have a lot of graffiti here, but again, there's nothing really artistic about it. It's like 17-year-olds wrote their names. There's, there's no gain representation or anything. All right, we have another building. More balconies. In front of the church. It's really nice inside. It's kind of big. I've been in there a couple times. Light a candle once in a while. All right. And now we're heading all the way out there to where the grocery store is. We're going to pass the park. Of course, I'm going down the ramp here on the exiting the bridge. And here you see foliage. This one tree uh, changed colors. A while back, that was very pretty. Another thing, if you notice, now kind of, there isn't that much dog poop on the streets. Not like in Hungary. It seemed like 90% of the gypsy population were were using the bathroom on the sidewalk. It was horrible. You couldn't take a step without, what, you, not even a square foot without seeing dog poo everywhere. Here it isn't like that. You see it sometimes. It's here. But it's not like the national flower. This is a pretty park. Everybody takes their dogs here. Their kids and their, and their dogs. You see a lot of trees. There's a, a main focal point here. I want to I wanna take. And it's this park. Again, I said I have a thing with parks. This park here across the street, let's see if we could stop and get a... I don't know how to zoom this, this phone yet. This park across the street is probably not going to have many people right now. It's chilly out. But most of the year, it's packed. 
I know because I'm going across the street to the grocery store. So I pass by here all the time. If when we get a closer view of the park, if we count the benches, okay. If we count the swings and the slides and the Let's get close. <coughs> this is this is a very cute little park. We start this way. If we count all the benches, if we cut, cut, uh, count all the rubber mats, the um, the swings, the slides, the everything that's here. There wasn't a lot of money spent here, but it's always packed. If somebody had one of these in a location where there's families, and they own like the store surrounding it that sold the hot dogs and the hamburgers and and school supplies or whatever, I see it probably being a viable little business, especially if it's in a in an area where there are many children. Like I said, today nobody's here. It's kind of a very chilly day. Very few people. But at nighttime, when the weather gets a little bit better, there's more here than it than fits. All right, now I'm going across the street to the supermarket named Little. It's about the, the best supermarket. In all of Greece, it's a German market. The Greeks have a tendency to overcharge as much as they can and consider you stupid when you purchase things from them. They have a... Somebody once said that the only thing wrong with Greece are the Greeks. And even though I'm Greek, I agree. All right, here's little. When we go in... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to videotape up and down the aisles if there's not a lot of people and I don't get too self-conscious. Okay, let's... Okay. This is the front of the store. I put a coin in and got a cart. And hopefully, what I'd like to do is do some price comparisons. Clusters around three U.S. bucks or 500 grams. Grand flakes are 219 euros, which is like 250. Corn flakes are buck 59. Frosted flakes are two euros, about 240, and that's 500 grams also. We have marmalades here. We have Nutella. Nutella isn't as big in Greece as it is in other European countries. It's hazelnut chocolate. Let's see what that costs. 400 grams of Nutella is about $2.50 for us. So here we have breads. How much does a loaf of bread cost? About 2 bucks. The aisles. Okay, let's see what's on sale today. We have coffees. We have American blends and Greek blends. We have peanut butter. Three bucks for three euros. About three and a half bucks for 454 grams. I haven't seen peanut butter here in a very long time. Oh, well. I could do without that. Here we have chocolates. This is really interesting. We have imitation cocoa puffs and, and 
Milky Ways and Mounds. Let's see what the price is. The price for 350 grams is two euros for little Milky Ways or Snickers. And here we have more coffees and teas. That's pretty pretty expensive. The coffee's twenty five euros. This next cup there, twenty five euros for a thousand grams. Twenty six or about thirty bucks. And here we got cookies. Now we have the name brand candy bars, the Twix Mars Snickers, and these always cost about 70% more than the ones that are off-brand. No wafers here. These taste good. Not that expensive either. Okay. Okay, I have plenty of sweets at home. No sweets for me. The bananas here. Remember we went to the farmer's market. And the bananas there were like a buck twenty or a, a euro twenty or a euro fifty. Here they're only one euro. So I think I could buy some bananas. Farmer's market is not always the cheapest. You gotta I don't know what you're doing. Let's see if we can get a bag of these bananas. Okay. Got some bananas. There you go. Got our bananas. Nobody wants those, I don't. Pineapples and fruit salads. Peppers. Pickles, they have really good pickles here. Spices. Whole oh, rack of spices. About a dollar of a little bottle. Not a bad place. We have the same fruit. There was in the farmer's market is here also. Let's see. These things at the farmer's market were dollar eighty. And here they're a dollar forty. Might come back and buy some. Right. We have meat here. Nobody really buys it. None of the Greeks really want meat from England or from France. Sometimes you have a sale and people do buy it. And this is our. Because they got the Gapu policy? They got the Gapu policy from the Megado Grafi of the Nana. Okay. You don't really like me videotaping your stories. But for me, I'd like to see some price comparisons for the states. Here we have beer, 340. And we have potato chips. Greece has the worst potato chips of any EU country I've ever seen. Uh, we have beers. 
we have laundry supplies. And we have frozen foods. The best of which are the fish. Everything else is kind of like really fattening and no good for you. I'll continue again when I get out of the store so I can do some shopping. Okay, I've left the store and I'd like to show you what I bought for 9 euros. It's about 10 US bucks. I bought bananas. There's my bananas. A couple pounds of bananas. I bought cake. I bought two frozen pizzas. I bought slices of cheese. And I bought a milk. And that all is under 10 US dollars. The people in the store. Security cop. Didn't really appreciate me videoing. I asked the guy if it's policy. He said, no, he's never read it anywhere. I said, well, you know, when you walk in the store, it says no smoking, right? Why doesn't it say no video in this day and age? And he didn't really have an answer. Got a little bit huffy when I told him to go back and tell his boss that instead of drinking coffee three times a day, he should try Valium for a month, and maybe they'll get their, their rights and wrongs in order. really hate nervous people who do things that aren't based in knowledge and in, in logic. Anyway, I'm leaving the store. I keep wondering if I should take another way back, but there is no real other way back. It's a really gloomy, dark day. I don't know how this video is going to come out, but it's, it's pretty gloomy out here. All right, let's see. What can I show you? Nothing else, not in this neighborhood. Incidentally, when I take the frozen pizza home, I put a lot of, a lot more stuff on it, and it winds up being really, really good at thick crust. So it's nothing like Domino's or nothing like Domino's or, or Tombstone. Although once in a while I do miss a Tombstone, but I don't really know why. <coughs> All right, I'll turn this off for now. If I see anything interesting, I'll, I'll turn it back on.